So I heard through the grapevine that your crazy ass gave up sleeping inside for Lent. Where'd you hear that from? Well, you know, I sort of e-stalk you. I follow you on Twitter and Facebook and all your blogs and all of your many YouTube channels. You know, that sort of thing. That's a tad creepy. Don't act like you don't love it. Anyway, tell me about the sleeping outside thing. I got the idea over Christmas break when I got an email from the Gainesville Catholic Worker House. Yeah, I read that email. You read my email too? I told you, creepy e-stalker. This guy. You know what, whatever. So originally I was going to give up just sleeping in my bed for Lent. But after reading Johnny's email, I thought it might be a better sacrifice to be in solidarity with my homeless friends and actually sleep outside during these cold months. So, did it work out? If by work out, you mean I didn't freeze to death? Yes, but it did come very close once. Wait, what the hell does that mean? It came close. Don't you have like a tent and a big sleeping bag and all that kind of stuff? Weren't you prepared? Well, initially I started out with just a light sleeping bag. Um, why? You know you live in Kentucky where it actually gets cold. Right? Because it's all I really had. You do remember that you live right next to the summer camp, run by the same people you volunteer with. They have a lot of heavier stuff, couldn't you just borrow some stuff from them? Well, that was part of the deal, see? The homeless folks that I know don't have the luxury of just being able to borrow from people the things that they need to stay warm at night. So, I only wanted to use the things that I personally owned, and at the beginning, all I personally owned was the light sleeping bag. Didn't it get down to like negative five on Ash Wednesday night? Yeah, but the next night it came down to like negative ten with wind chill plus an ice storm. That's the night I almost died of hypothermia. Holy shit, dude, you're crazier than I thought. Yeah, I woke up around 6 a.m. like violently shaking and disoriented, just barely made it inside into a hot shower. I suspect that if I'd stayed outside for another hour or so, I probably would have entered third stage hypothermia. I'm unfamiliar here. What's level 3 hypothermia? That's when your body stops shaking and systematically begins to shut down. Yep. You're a crazy motherfucker. That's a good thing you got inside to get a shower, right? Well, it, it is a good thing that I made it inside, but it made me think of all the people that don't have the opportunity to just come inside and get a hot shower when they're dying outside. Mmm, good point. Yeah, all in all, this experience taught me a few things. One, it's not easy to sleep outside when you're cold. Two, you get used to sleeping on the ground, and actually sleeping on a bed after the 40 days was a little difficult. Took a little adjusting to again. And three, we tend to turn far too often a blind eye to those who are sleeping outside in the cold. Wait a minute, I for one was at least very concerned about you while you were doing this. Right, that's what I'm saying. You thought about me because I'm your friend, but how often do you consciously think of those who are sleeping outside every single night? The ones that you don't know. Ah, oh, crap. 